so that they point straight ahead. And when you turn the toes, make sure that the knee and the thigh gets pointed straight ahead as well. Your back foot gets pigeon-toed, so turn that in. Outside of your back foot, push it down. Back leg, squeeze it super straight and strong. Sweep the arms up, out to the sides. Take a nice deep breath in, and on the exhale, hinge at your hips and take your hand down wherever it reaches on the leg, to the foot, to the floor, wherever feels good to you. Then take your chest up, look up, and breathe. So this is called the triangle pose. And what's really nice is to press down through your feet is going to help to strengthen your legs. Take a deep breath in and let it out fully. On the inhale, press down through the feet to come all the way up to standing. Keep your arms out to the sides for a little extra strength building and switch sides with your feet. So turn your right toes in and your left toes out. Nice big inhale into the fingertips. Exhale, hinge at your hips. Left hand goes down, right hand goes up. The tendency here is for your tailbone to sort of stick out the back. So if your butt's sticking out the back, keep that tailbone going under. Belly is in. Your chest rotates up and the shoulders away from your ears. If you can, look up at your hand, stretch way up, and then pressing down through the feet, come all the way up to standing. Bring the palms together at your heart. Okay, we're gonna go back to side one. So right toes turn out, left toes turn in. Take the arms out to the sides, get your body very tall, and this time, Bend your front knee. Don't lean forward at all, just get very tall. Sit down deeply. It's a tendency for your knee to flop in a little bit here, so use the muscles in your leg to keep the leg straight. Keep the breath happening, and then push that front leg all the way straight, keeping the arms up, switch sides with the feet. Right toes in, and the left toes out. Nice big inhale into your fingertips. On the exhale, bend the front knee. So this is called the warrior pose. And in the warrior pose, you wanna be aware of the whole middle part of your body. So this low belly, everything below your belly button, goes in as your tailbone drops down. Your chest lifts, but keep the shoulders nice and relaxed. Okay, that's long enough. Press that front leg straight and release the palms together at your heart. Go back to side one. Now we're gonna put those two poses together into one of my favorite poses called the side stretch pose. Inhale the arms out to the sides. On the exhale, bend your front knee and lean forward, reaching your hand to the floor on the inside of the foot. Take the other hand up to the ceiling. Now if you want to, you can do the modified version. Just keep your eyes on Natasha. I always prefer to stay on my fingertips like this. I feel like it gives me a little extra lift in the shoulder. I use that bottom shoulder to guide my knee straight. Take the chest up to the ceiling if you can. Look up at your hand, breathe, and then come all the way up to standing. <laughs> That's right, keep the arms up and switch sides. Nice big inhale. On the exhale, side stretch pose. You really want to be working your back leg in side stretch pose. So outside of your back foot, push it down. Back leg, squeeze it straight and strong. Remember, it's your anchor. Breath goes in, look up and reach way up. And then come all the way up to standing. Now keep your arms up here. We're going to bring both feet back to the front of the mat and our palms together at our hearts. So take a nice big inhale. On the exhale, step all the way up. Great. So now we're going to be putting those poses together into a flowing series. And right now we've just worked a lot of details. And when we work a flow, it's all about breathing and moving together. So don't worry about getting the poses right. Just breathe and move. OK, here we go. Bend your knees. Drop your hands. Circle the arms up. Inhale to chair pose. Exhale, hands to the floor. Straighten the legs. Look forward, heart forward, you inhale. Exhale, hands to the floor, step back to downward facing dog.
press your heels down and take a couple of deep breaths here. Okay, so now we're gonna put it together in the flow series. And again, this moves quickly. So just keep breathing. Okay, so here we go. Right foot, step it up to your hands. Left foot flat, side stretch pose. Inhale, exhale fully. And on the inhale, come up to warrior. Exhale fully. On the inhale, push that leg straight. Keep inhaling. Exhale, hinge at the hips. Triangle pose. Inhale, look up, reach up. Exhale, hands to the floor. And step back to downward facing dog. So again, when you're flowing in yoga, it's not a time to try to get perfection. It's a time to get into the feeling of yoga. It's a time to get into your breathing. Okay, so here we go. Side two, nice big inhale. And on the exhale, left foot steps up to your hands. Side stretch pose. Keep inhaling. Exhale fully. On the inhale, warrior. Exhale fully as you sit deeply. Inhale to come up. Keep inhaling to the fingertips. Exhale, hinge and triangle pose. Look up at your hand. Inhale. On the exhale, hands to the floor. And step back to downward facing dog. Now this is our last downward dog. So really make the most of it. Get your hips way up to the ceiling. Your heels press towards the floor. Get a nice, good stretch. Okay, and on the exhale, bring your knees to the floor. Sit your hips back on your heels, and we're gonna rest in child's pose. So take your head to the floor and come back to your breath. Okay, so here we are in child's pose. Take a nice deep breath and then slowly roll up to sitting. I think with all that movement, we've burned a lot of calories. So go ahead and sit to the side and take your legs out in front of you. Feet on the floor with your knees up. Now we're gonna head into our abdominal sequence here. We're gonna do a lot of poses that strengthen and tone your midsection. And the main thing to keep in mind about doing abdominals in yoga is to breathe at all times, full deep breaths, okay? So sit nice and tall, begin to slightly lean back. And as you lean back, you'll be able to pick your feet up off the floor. Now, if you'd like, you can just hold it here like Natasha's gonna be doing. Or if you'd like a little more challenge, go ahead and squeeze your legs straight. Even more of a challenge, reach your arms forward. This is called the boat pose, and obviously a good abdominal strengthener and a good leg strengthener as well. So give your toes a little wiggle so you know you have some energy in your feet. And then slowly release your feet to the floor. Feet are hips distance apart, knees are straight, put your hands under your shoulders. Fingers pointing in towards you and fingers spread. Push down through your heels and take your hips up to the ceiling. As you push your heels down, your hips can go up, up, up. The chest opens and if it's comfortable, let your head dunk back. Big breath in and then slowly release yourself down. We're gonna go right back into boat pose. So lift the legs up, straighten them, and if you can, reach your arms up. It's important to have strong abdominal muscles, not just because it looks good, but because it also helps to stabilize your back. And we all need to have a healthy back. So that's good incentive. Keep the chest lifting up, nice big breath in, and then release your feet down. We're gonna go right back into the same pose, hands under your shoulders, this is called the four-legged table position. Heels push down to take your hips up to the ceiling. Now this four-legged table pose is one of my favorite back bends because it really gets the heart to open and it gives me a chance to clear out the lungs. So do that with your breath now. Take huge breaths, clear out the lungs. And then keep your abdominal muscles 